Alright, Cole Grip here. I thought I'd do a little quick review on a couple of new toys I have. The first one are these Howard Light Sport, I think they're Impact Sport, um, electronic earmuffs. Um, cool little gizmos. They, If you're not familiar with electronic earmuffs, they actually have a microphone and a uh, uh, ampli electronically amplified sound so that um, they're also designed so that when there's a loud noise like above, I think it's 85 decibels, such as a gun gunshot, they turn off automatically so it muffles the loud sounds and yet it picks up um, voice. So um, I started shooting IDPA, uh, International Defensive Pistol Association, for those of you who aren't familiar. It's a great thing. I'll, I'll do a little video on that as well, but that's something great for new shooters to get into. It's uh, been wonderful for me, great place to practice. Um, but uh, when I go to the matches, it's important to be able to hear on the range. If I'm out at the range practicing by myself, then it doesn't really matter. But these are great. I actually double plug. I put um, uh, earplugs in, um, some Surefire, e I think they're EP6s, um, that I put in my ears. And then I put these over top of those earplugs. And this is great because I can turn the volume up on these and I can still hear even with a double plug. I do that because I've already got a little bit of a hearing loss and I'm trying to do everything I can to prevent anything further. Um, and obviously, uh, the gunfire is a very loud sound and and will uh, harm your hearing over a period of time so these have been wonderful I really love them um, just uh, again with the double plugging I can still hear conversation on the range yet I still get the same uh, muffling of the gunshot that I had before um, so I've been really happy with these they come with a little cord here and if you can see it in the box that you can actually use them to hook up your iPad mp3 player whatever um, I doubt that uh, I'll ever hook these up in that manner but in, in case you want to uh, uh, they have a little cord these were about uh, $45 on amazon.com a great buy I, I would re highly recommend it if you're gonna do any amount of shooting at all um, this is a, a great purchase um, second thing I've got I haven't even opened yet um, take a look here these are some new glasses so here you, can, you can explore this with me these are get this right these are ESS uh, ice uh, with interchangeable something or another system it's an eye shield system it comes with three different lenses these were about uh, $63 on Optics Planet. I had a 10% coupon off, which made them a little bit um, better. The brand name is, is ESS. ICE stands for Interchangeable Something or Another System. And here you go. These are ICE 2.4 Plus. Come with clear lens, a, uh, a amber lens or a yellow lens, and a, a gray smoke lens. Um, nice nice little case it's uh, described on the web as semi-hard but I, and it is uh, uh, somewhat flexible it's still a, a hard case so that's nice have um, an antifog cleaning cloth that's good my user's guide and then the uh, glasses so here it came good because I intend to use the clear glasses it came with the clear glasses but uh, these ear pieces detach here right on the top of the lens. You can see most of this is is just the lens itself. The earpiece is attached to the lens. The nose piece attaches underneath and you can just pull those off and uh, put in a separate set of lenses. So very nice. These are impact resistant. Um, harden their, their glass so that the optics are clear. And again, part of the reason that I, I bought these uh, was because of my participation with IDPA. Just thought it was important that I start to use something a little bit better than than my ten dollar uh, pair of glasses. Also comes with a little holder on the back. So this this is this is nice. Very happy with this. I will let you know when I get to the range how they work. But uh, as you can see, very nice, clear. I'll give you all the advertising on it. It says. Uh, Clear lens, anti-fog, elastic retention strap, protective hard case. Yes, yes, I know all that. Um, so I can get you some description on the 
glass that they use here. I know they are polarized. Um, got instructions for how to, to to put them, take it apart and put it together. And let's see. This is more instructions. So I guess they gave me two of these little user kits, and they're both in English. So anyway, there you go. Um, Again, after I get a chance to use them, I'll do a little follow-up video, um, and maybe I can get you some more information on the glass. But they are hardened. Uh, the the, uh, on the uh, advertising on the web says that they've been tested with a uh, shooting a 22 at them, and uh, so that's good. Great eye protection, clear wrap around. So I look forward to using those uh, in my next trip to the range. So there you have it. Just a little brief review on a couple of new toys. Um, both of these. Uh, um, I'm sure I'm going to like these glasses um, better than what I'm using now, and I've used these uh, earmuffs. They are fabulous. Uh, I'll, when, whenever they wear out, I'll be getting another pair. I love those to death. So there you have it. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, please subscribe. So I've had a chance to take these to the range now. And um, first of all, the, the glass, the lenses are great. The optic, optics are crystal clear. Um, tremendous improvement over my little $10, you know, off-the-shelf uh, shooting glasses, as one would hope, uh, since these are quite a bit more expensive, but very nice. Um, second thing, the little, I don't know how well you can see here in the video, but the, the uh, <coughs> ear pieces here are, are fairly... Um, Slim and uh, just uh, not not a lot of substance to them. Okay, and it seemed to be fair quality. Although I wouldn't want to bend them very much because I'm afraid they they may break. Um, however, you can buy replacements of these. However, at first I was like, well, gee, that's that's no good. And it does have this little strap that you can hook on to the to the back of each ear each earpiece to to keep it on on your head. So. That's nice, but these earpieces provide no compression whatsoever to the side of your head. So essentially, if you slide these over your ears, they're just kind of there. There is no uh, there's no tightness. There's no tension there. Um, so initially, I was like, "Gee, maybe I could wear the gray lenses for my regular sunglasses or something along those lines." And I don't think that I would do that. Now I don't really need to because I have a nice pair of sunglasses. However. Um, when I took them out to the range, this turned out to be quite a benefit because these things are are slender, thin. They go tuck right uh, right behind the earmuffs, um, and don't uh, no, you don't feel them at all. So it's really great. Um, obviously, somebody knew what they were doing when they designed these things. Really great to put them underneath the earmuffs. So I really like that. Um, if I was just wearing plugs and no muffs, I don't think I'd, I'd like them quite as much um, just because of the earpieces. The lens themselves is great. Had, had no problem with it whatsoever. Um, but it was just the, uh, just the earpieces that, uh, again, I wouldn't want to wear them as regular glasses, although you certainly could. You can put this strap on them and it'll hold them on. And, um, but that's a different story altogether. So, bottom line is, really like, really, really like them. Um, I would buy them again. Um, again, they do come with with uh, three different lenses: the uh, amber here, and then a gray lens. So, that's very nice. Uh, wear the clear inside. Um, I've been uh, so far. I've worn them out out uh, two or three times shooting, and uh, and really like them. So there you have it. Just a little postscript for you. Thanks for watching.